taking myself on a date. I hope this inspires you to take yourself on a date too. As I get older, I find how important it is to really spend time with yourself and get to know like who you are as a person. Learn to enjoy spending time alone. We're gonna be doing things that just I love to do because also it's my birthday week. I booked myself a nail appointment. We're gonna go to like a cute little cafe or something. I wanna go thrifting. First things first though, we need to pick an outfit. Here's my first outfit. This one's very like flowy, big like September fairy energy. Tied it up in the back to give it a tighter look, but also it can be like worn in this really just pretty flowy, comfortable way. And I can't wait to wear this like over like a little pair of jeans or something. This is actually the top that goes with this skirt. It's a little set. I definitely feel just really myself in this. And that's how you want to feel on the date, whether it's with another person or with yourself. This one's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I got this faux leather puff sleeve top. How cool is that? This really cute little flowy skirt, and I like the juxtaposition of this really dainty feminine flowy skirt with this kind of more edgy top. Look at the back of this too. So cool. This outfit is to die for. I love this top this might be the outfit of the day i've just been loving long sleeve tops that kind of come down over your hands recently it's actually a bodysuit so that's amazing i think it's super cute this like square cut neckline is just so flattering and the brown chef's kiss you guys all know i love brown i have this little skirt again and i paired it once again with the beautiful loafers that just Complete the look. Also, I feel like this could be cool with these shoes I got. Hold on, you're gonna like scream. These are just like statement shoe. I just really like this feathered look. It's very like old Hollywood. I don't think it's right for this outfit, but I can't wait to wear these with something. Look at this jacket. Floral bomber jacket. That's just absolutely a dream for the fall. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I feel like a fall princess. They also sent me these masks. So we're gonna be masked up and stylish. And they're like satin. And I've been wanting a satin mask for a little bit because, because it's just like better for your skin. It doesn't like break you out as easily. Look at this blue one, so cute. And a little white one too. Even though I'm vaccinated, I'm still trying to be extra careful when I go out and I'm in busy places. So these will be coming in handy. Okay guys, this is the outfit. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. Are you kidding me? I feel so cute. I feel like a little fall princess. I feel like this hat, yeah, sure, it may not be for everybody, but it's for me. I just feel really me. I feel like, you know, sometimes on a date when you're trying to, like, impress somebody else, you know, sometimes it's a little nerve-wracking to completely dress like yourself. But you know what? Today, since I'm going on a date with myself, there will be none of that. I'm wearing whatever the heck I want to wear. And if you are going on a date with another person, I'm telling you right now, just be yourself. Dress however you want. It's what we're going to wear today. Lulu's just has so many really pretty dresses, I feel like, and just attire for dates and stuff like that. Or really any sort of occasion or just everyday life. So definitely check out Lulu's. Everything will be linked below. Um, and thank you again, Lulu's, for sponsoring this video. But... You guys, I think it's time for us to go on a date. So, let's do it. I just found so many fun things I have to show you. I was gonna go to a different thrift store today, but then I was driving by this one and it's actually my favorite. It's like hole in the wall. Not a lot of people know about it, but it's magnificent. Little black shirt because I've been needing one. This is so cute. It's 
like this super vintage velvet little arm thing. This brown turtleneck. Very cute. Ah! Alright, let's do this. Oh, my friends don't care about everything as long as you got a story to bring or take you along. I'm gonna try and take some pictures of myself, but it always makes me so anxious doing this by myself, so. Going to get my nails done which i haven't done in probably like a year um because i've just been doing my own nails but since it's my birthday week i want these special nails and i thought why not go try to actually get them done by professionals i treat myself so that's where i'm going now Stricken cactus and it starts to rain The smell of steamed asphalt scented Novocaine Nature's brew of all kinds of things The mountain sunk hill sky color schemes Makes you forget about all types of things You remind me of the Arizona thunder Side See who I see? Make you wonder about the bigger picture in your life The simple times in the Arizona thunder The Arizona thunder tonight Endless roads to the horizon Past the oasis, it's all behind ya Mirage of agua, the stars above ya The creature's days to nocturnal days Makes you forget about all types of things you This has been actually a really nice day But all day, I've been battling moments of just feeling a little bit self-conscious about being alone like even now like everyone at this park is like sitting with another person but at the same time like i've just been having such a fun day and i've been trying to push past those moments of feeling self-conscious about being alone or filming myself or whatever and like just learn to enjoy these moments with myself i don't know why but i feel like society totally has like made it so that we feel weird when we're alone or we feel like embarrassed or there's something wrong with us or like doesn't make you a loner to like enjoy spending some time by yourself and enjoy sitting by yourself and doing activities by yourself like there's nothing wrong with that and we shouldn't feel shame about wanting to spend time with ourselves i think it's also just really important whether you're in a relationship or not with an another human you know still know how to like really take care of yourself and like love spending time with yourself with any sort of relationship in your life your happiness can't come from another person you have people in your life that make you happy or a special person in your life that brings you joy that's amazing that's incredible but your happiness can't be dependent on that person or those friends really anything you really have to like find that from within and that's i think a lifelong journey figuring out how you can really love spending time with yourself because even i like i love doing things by myself i really do but even on when i do spend time with myself i'm still like i'm battling feelings all day of thinking oh are people looking at me because i'm like eating here alone so i do think it's it's still like a journey it's a journey figuring out how to do that pushing through those moments of uncomfort can really help yourself become closer to yourself so i really encourage you guys to even if you don't usually do it spend some time with yourself 
go do something that makes you uncomfortable. Enjoy yourself, get to know yourself. Okay, I'm gonna sit here and watch the rest of the sunset and then head back home. But it's been awesome spending time with you all. Thank you so much, Lulu's, for sponsoring this video. I feel really cute right now. My nails and my dress and my hat. Put on your favorite outfit, buy yourself your favorite coffee or matcha or tea, whatever. Bring your favorite book and go do something that you love to do. Go fall in love with yourself. I love you, Pixie, so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. You remind me of the era.